What on earth's wrong, Miss Walker? I don't understand. The key. It didn't work. I did warn you, you know. You can't be at all well enough yet to deserve to be released already. But... But what do I have to do? Why don't you go back and have a lie down in your room? so you can continue your convalescence. But look at me. I feel fine. You have to let me go. Impossible, Miss Walker. The rule is very clear. Only those patients who are capable of opening the door may leave this floor. you won't help me, I want to speak with your superior, Dr. Olga. You can do that when she comes by to see you for her daily visit. But please don't count on me to disturb her before then. There's a problem with the key. That's obvious. I need to find out where it comes from. I already know that everything works here. Let's check the key.
these holes. It looks like something's been removed from the key. No doubt about it. My key's been deliberately damaged. I need to find a perfect copy if I want to be able to repair it. Ah, Kate. Kate Walker. How's it going? You look kind of down. Well, I had a problem. I bet you went and flunked Dr. Mongo Ling's test, right? But don't go flipping out over it, Kate. Kate Walker. I can never figure out how I was supposed to pass those damn tests either. I did fine in the interview, and he gave me the key to the exit. The problem is, I can't open the door. It doesn't work. Sometimes things just aren't obvious around here. I gotta tell you, Kate, Kate Walker, Leon, who is a lot sneakier than me. A few years ago, he got through the interview okay, and also actually got that damn key from the doctor. Yeah, but I never got the damn door open. Same as you. There's something really wrong with this place. That weird interview we have to go through doesn't surprise you? And all of that just to get a key that doesn't open anything? Dr. Olga told us lots of times, Kate, Kate Walker. In this place, talking bad about the protocol is proof you're really sick. Yeah, Dr. Olga knows what she's doing and you can really trust her. When we're better, our minds will be able to understand how the key works, you see? According to the picture, there's a pin missing. I need to find a way to fix it. But how am I going to manage it? light, the wind, the heat. I can still feel it all. I dream of it every night. Let's try something else. Not a chance. Impossible. 
Automaton birds? How are you, Kate Walker? Is your departure from the clinic imminent? I'm afraid not. You seem upset. What's wrong? I have to use a kind of key to open a door and finally get out of this place. It's a kind of a test, you know? A test that I passed, but the key didn't work. And when I compared it with an original, I saw it had been sabotaged. I'm getting the impression they're trying to keep us here by any means, Kirk whether we want to stay or not. That's a serious accusation. Are you sure? Hmm. The proof is building up. First there's that key which doesn't work, and that bed you're trapped in, and your missing prosthesis. It's true that I've been very weak since I began Madame Olga's treatment. But she says that it's normal. She calls it temporary secondary effects. We really need to get out of here, Kirk. Unfortunately, I cannot undertake the long migration of the ostriches without the mechanical leg, Kate Walker. But you, on the other hand, you can leave. But how? Show me the model of the key you told me about. Show me the model of the key instead, please. I need to see the original model of this. Hmm, that's what I thought. With this, my tribe Smith should be able to repair your key. If, of course, you find a way to get it to him. I doubt they have a postal service here. Go on to the balcony. Our shaman's messenger is never very far. I use it to communicate with my people. You can give it the key. It'll take it to my tribe's smith. Got it. Thank you so much, Kirk. Kirk's tribe's camp, I guess. Hey you! Birdie! Birdie! I've got something for you! Hey there! That's it! Come on, come here! About that bird, Kirk. I must be doing something wrong. It won't come to me when I call it. It's true that the old owl is a bit of a lunatic. Have you tried to get it to land on the balcony? No, but I don't see what I can use for that. Look around the yard, Kate Walker. You may find something that might interest the board. Why not? I'll give it a shot. Thank you for your help, Kirk.
Hey there. That's it. Come on, come here. The owl flew away with the key, Kirk. That's good news, Kate Walker. Now we only need... Kirk. What's wrong? Do Dr. Olga's treatment. Kirk. Kirk. Can you hear me? Wake up. Come, come. No need to be alarmed, Miss Walker. You're Dr. Olga, I suppose. We weren't expecting you to awaken for another few days, Miss Walker. This is surprising. Truly. If I had known, I would have come by earlier in the day to assist you in your return to the world of the waking. Unlike poor Kirk here, I have no need of help. I am very well, thank you. Fainting is a secondary effect inherent in the treatment, Miss Walker. Nothing more. In medicine, despite any discomfort, protocol must be respected. Oh, you mean that horrible mechanical bed where that poor boy is waiting for a prosthesis that never comes? That's protocol? And I suppose the same is true for the absurd interrogation I had to go through. You seem to have developed a singular paranoia since you came out of the coma. When we get the chance, I'll look into it. But for now, I'm going to ask you to please leave. I have to administer the next stage of the treatment to your young friend. Dr. Efimova, I demand to be released from this clinic. And trust me, I will be denouncing the curious way you've treated Kirk and your other patients. You have a very unique way of practicing medicine. I find your defiance troubling, Miss Walker. I'm responsible for ensuring your recovery goes well. Of course, I can only strongly disapprove of a premature release. I'm not interested in your opinion. Let me leave this instant. Fine. Unfortunately, I cannot prevent you from leaving us. But please... Please assuage my professional conscience before you go, and let me check your pulse. What the... It's for your own good, Miss Walker. Believe me. You must receive treatment, whether you like it or not. I can't believe Dr. Olga drugged me. That woman is completely insane. Kate 
Walker. Kirk. How do you feel? Not very well, I'm afraid. This situation can't go on, Kirk. So what can I do to help you get out? The best thing, Kate Walker, is for you to go along. And if you really want to help me, once you are outside, go to Valsambor and try to recover my prosthesis from the craftsmen. If you bring it back to me, Dr. Zamiatine will put it on, and I will be able to go back to my tribe. Can we trust Dr. Zamiatine? I'm not so sure when I see what this clinic is like. The man has always been a friend to the Ukos. And I'm sure he'll be able to help you leave the hospital and find the craftsmen in Valsambor. Okay. I promise to come back as soon as I can with your prosthesis, Kirk. Until then, hang in there. Thank you, Kate Walker. And may the spirits be with you.